your business literally just trying to get by the day and something just hits you boom boom and you're just like my god where is this coming from i'm dealing with my health as well and it's just been like a whole lot like huh, it was a lot it was really a lot for me and oh my god but good health is really really underrated but we thank god for everything it's hard actually it's really hard because yeah so you feel like you feel like rain in the morning giving me mixed emotions Welcome back to the channel. My name is Wei Me, also known as House of Wei on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram, please go follow me and let's be friends. My returning subscribers, hey girl, come and grab a seat. <laughs> oh my god, I'm kind of nervous because at the time I'm filming this video, today is like November 23rd, and it's been over three months since I've posted on my Insta on my Instagram and on my YouTube at this point. I don't know when you guys see this video. It might actually be maybe four months after or five months after. I do not know, but right now so i was like let me just film this video when like i'm in the mood to film it and yeah but i uh, hopefully this video comes out sooner than i expected so it's been a while i've been on youtube and you know what i wanted to really just go back into like normal scheduling like normal schedule of posting video <laughs> God, it's like i don't know english i think it's the lip gloss <laughs> it's making me not talk very well and i'm kind of like really nervous because it's been a while I've been like in front of a camera and talking to the camera it's just like really weird i don't know i'm just feeling like very uneasy and i'm kind of like tensed but anyways <laughs> i wanted to go like just directly into like normal schedule of regular posting and just posting like i never left but i just feel like that's really unfair and anyways i know we have like new subscribers on here we're over a thousand subscribers and while i was away we got monetized yeah your girl is finally monetized and i'm really really happy about that thank god all my hard work is starting to pay off little by little so in case you are not even subscribed and you're watching this video please go subscribe right now pause and go and subscribe and come back so yeah i wanted to go into like regular schedule like right into like regular posting but i felt like that would be like really unfair we have new people on here so i wanted to just give like a brief introduction of myself my name is way me but i go by house of way on instagram on youtube i'm a content creator first of all i'm a medical student in my final year in medical school in, i live in china i'm a content creator i'm a makeup artist i have a perfume oil brand i have an eyelash brand i'm a serial entrepreneur i'm a businesswoman i do it all and yeah so that's just about me for this channel um this channel is all about initially i started with like beauty content makeup content fashion content but as time went on, I just found like that wasn't really sustainable based on the fact that you know you have to like keep changing products for makeup. For clothes, you keep you need to keep buying clothes and doing hauls, and that's not sustainable. YouTube hasn't started paying me yet, so I do a bit of everything and anything, anything that comes to mind, I do it. And I think I really have like a lineup of like really, really interesting content I have lined up after this live update. And I want this place to be fun. This place is all about positivity. If you're a negative person, if you have negativity, that's the door please go use it we're all about fun here we're all about enlightening ourselves like exchanging knowledge very informative very conversational and it's just a really fun light interesting space over here so yeah that's what my channel is about i just want to impact people i just want people to like in as much as we're having fun in as much as like we're all it's all good vibes over here we're still going to be like very informative and you know talk about different things so yeah that's what my channel is about so i think the introduction is out of the way so let's just get right into the live update <laughs> I, I see the messages a lot of people i did not even know like i'll get that amount of text that amount of messages people reaching out checking up on me like oh they've not seen me online i haven't posted because this has been the longest time i've ever taken out of like just like me just going off on social media this is the longest time higher maybe like a month i think i've done like six weeks well, three months is a stretch. Like, I haven't been gone three months. And me, I'm saying three months now. I don't know if these three months will even extend. That I don't know. <laughs> but I see, the, I see the messages. I see the text. I see, like, people reaching out. People texting me. People asking me, hope you're fine. Hope you're good. I really, really appreciate the fact that... I'm, like, the, this period just showed me, like, okay, I really have a community. It might not be so big, but it's still a community. And 
I have people in my corner and I really really appreciate everybody who has reached out, everybody who has checked up on me, who has sent a message, a DM. I really appreciate you guys and I see all the messages and I'm so so grateful. So yeah, why the main major question is, I know everybody wants to know like, why did you go off, what, what happened, um, what made you go off like that because I didn't plan to go off. It wasn't like, okay, you know what, I'm going to take a break and I want to go off. No, it just like life happened and I had to just like, I couldn't just deal with social media at the time. like. Uh, let me just say I went through the most traumatic experience of my life like yet because I, I do and I just pray like that will be the first and the last I will never experience anything as traumatic as what happened to me unfortunately I'm not at the space where I'm comfortable to talk about it or to share what I went through just because I haven't healed from it and I feel like I haven't made my peace with it and I'm, I haven't healed from it as well so I just don't feel comfortable still talking about it because due to the matter is I'm still like in denial I haven't accepted it yet and when you haven't accepted something you talking about it is just like you confirming it and me coming on here to like share it with the whole world so I've not gotten to that place yet where I can talk about it, where I can share it. But I went through the most traumatic experience of my life, and it was it was life changing. It was life altering, and I'm just not just know like something happened to me, and I'm just not yet at that place where I can share or talk about it. Unfortunately, but that was what happened. It wasn't planned. It wasn't. It just happened. It just happened. Unfortunately, and that's just life, right? things happen you don't plan them and they just hit you like you're just on your own minding your business literally just trying to get by the day and something just hits you boom boom and you're just like my god where is this coming from so that happened to me but since i'm not going to share it there's no point in me dwelling on it and just keep going around and around just know something happened to me it was traumatic if you love me say a prayer for me Pray I heal from it and I just pray like because you talking about it's kind of like healing I pray I get to the point where I heal a bit and I can openly talk about it and it won't like stir up like emotions or anything but since I'm not going to talk about it let's just forget that part so that happened to me and it was a lot it was really a lot for me and oh my god it was just a lot so yeah moving on so secondly I've been dealing with my health yeah unfortunately i got diagnosed of pmdd i wanted to like do like uh i wanted to do, like a separate video where i talk about it how i'm handling it how i'm dealing with it and the steps i'm actively taking to like feel better and get better because i feel like that's it's, i'm a medical student right i'm going to be a doctor in the next like six months i'm going to graduate next year and by the grace of god i'll be a doctor and i want to practice medicine i want to practice medicine <laughs> I want to practice medicine, right? So it's something like I would not shy away from. So I know that there are people who are going through the same thing I'm going through and they don't know about it because when it started happening to me, it first started like, what is going on with me like this? And this is something like I want to talk about and this is something like I want to reach out to somebody. Maybe somebody's going through this and I don't even know what's happening to you. And it's just weird like, oh my God, what's, this? what's happening? Because when it started happening to me, like, I didn't know what was going on. I was just like, what is happening to me? This it was just weird. It just started from nowhere. In case you don't know what PMDD, PMDD is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It's like the senior brother or senior sister of PMS, which is premenstrual syndrome, and it's very elevated. It's very like it's just like you know how PMS is dealing with you. PMDD takes you on another level, and it's just been a lot. I don't want to like really like go into this whole thing because I think I want to make like a dedicated video for that and just like share it and you know maybe if you're going through the same thing we can just be like build a support system a community you know like just talk about it and since I know what is happening to me it's not like a shock like when I know that okay my period is about to start I take active steps to like prevent that whole thing because sometimes trust me it gets really bad that you start having suicidal thoughts yeah gets really bad like that and it's just like initially when it happened to me i just my initial because someone like me i tend to like stay away from people human interaction which is really bad i might be going through something and the next thing i want to do is just be on my own and call inside my shell which is really really bad it's not good so when it's happening to me like if you talk to me or more i can break down and just start crying for no reason like, you didn't even do anything to me and i'm just like this is not me like this is not me but 
now i know what's happening to me i know how to like deal with it better so i'll just do like a video where i can just share with you guys the active steps i'm taking to get better to feel better and if anyone is going through the same thing um i just hope like it reaches someone out there so yeah that's the thing i've been dealing with my health as well and it's just been like a whole lot like uh, good health is really really underrated but we thank god for everything we thank god for life and yeah another thing i wanted to touch about was like quitting youtube finally because when i took this break i just got to the point where i started hearing like i i choose to believe like i carry myself on on social media space i choose to believe i portray myself in a really really good light in terms of i respect myself i don't i don't do something that i feel like someone will be like oh this is Doing, she's doing this, she's doing that, it's not good, it's not a good positive image. I choose to believe that I carry a positive image. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I just choose to believe that, that I just like comport myself basically, I respect myself. But I, I, I start hearing like news of like, oh, she's doing this, she's doing that. I don't really want to start talking or start saying, oh, who said this, who did not say this, because that's just not my MO. I don't do shit like that. If you want to say something to me, just come and say it to my face. But this one is saying you're doing, this one is saying you're doing, and I just felt like my whole life was under scrutiny based on the fact that in as much as I do YouTube, right, trust me, like, there are so many things that you do not know about me. I show you what you want to see. That's why I always tell people that social media is not real. It's just a mirage. People show you what they want you to see. It's not who they are actually. Okay, yes, I'm not going to say like, okay, it's not me, like, but it's not like I show every single thing I do. Oh, I'm sleeping, I'm showing it, I'm waking up, I'm showing it, I'm talking to this person, I'm showing it. I don't even like, I'm sure like, <laughs> most of the people, maybe my friends or like things I do, I don't put it on the internet. I'm not always going to carry camera and put it on everybody's face now. It's not possible. Nobody, I don't know if people do that, but <laughs> well, it's not like I'm doing a reality TV show where I have to like show like every single thing I do. But I really felt like my life became under scrutiny like okay in as much as I try to like I don't put everything on the internet I try to conceal some things based on privacy and some things are just not for the whole world to see they're just personal it's just your own thing or between you and your friends you and your partner you and your siblings and it's just like people's personal thing well like I just started feeling like oh my god people are watching me like I can't even do something without someone making a comment or saying something and I'm just like I got to that point where I just felt like this is actually getting tiring because you put up something somebody is saying something somebody is like people are watching you and, and the thing is youtube is not controlled at least instagram has like close friends where you can post private things and it's just your close friends so in case somebody like you see it outside you know who and who are on your close friends list well youtube is not controlled like somebody can be watching you and they don't even subscribe to your channel even your subscribers you don't even know them so i just started feeling like a certain way i started feeling kind of like on I don't want to use the word unsafe because I know like nobody can do anything to me but I'm a very very private person right I pride myself into believing that and I pride myself like into believing that it's not everybody that has access to me in as much as I do social media you don't you don't know me like you can't say stuff you don't even know me you can't just come and start like same rubbish but i started feeling like people started having that right the audacity to say have an opinion just because i'm on youtube and i'm doing youtube and i started feeling a certain way i was just started feeling like is this even like can i just like take a break from the social media space i will still i've been living my life without posting on youtube or even instagram i've been doing things i've been doing what i see i'm still living my life basically i'm just not putting it out there and social media is just like maybe 10% of my life. I'm not even getting like heavily paid yet from social media because I'm still trying to build my platform So I'm just like should I just like go away and just not come back to YouTube do other things I can be on social media maybe for my business. Yeah, in case you guys do not know I buy stuff for people I will link my Instagram up here So if you want to get anything from China if you want someone to run errands for you in China if you want someone to like do things for you in China I'm your girl. So yeah just run my businesses and not do youtube anymore but then i spoke to like a few people about my content and we're just like just do you people always talk like and i feel like it's when you're getting to that point where you're getting somewhere and like okay you're trying to make an impact right you're trying to like get visibility get like okay somewhere then just when like the naysayers come about i better just tell you i mean i just keep doing your youtube you're doing so well just keep doing it doesn't matter 
just like okay fine in as much as you've been censoring what you're putting out there just continue like that just keep censoring what you're putting out there don't just like put stuff like you know that okay it's not it doesn't align with you basically because i feel like anything i put out it aligns with me and i'm very comfortable with it so i shouldn't just like feel bad about it but i just couldn't like shake up the feeling of like Oh my god my life is under a microscope <laughs> and it just like made me feel a certain way but yeah i don't want to quit youtube actually i considered it but to be, like honestly i actually enjoy creating content content for me is like an outlet it just gives me like it's like a breath of fresh air it's just like that place where i like release my creative juices where it gets to flow and it just makes me happy it genuinely makes me happy i'm not even doing youtube bef because of like uh money or anything yeah the money part is part of it but i genuinely like it because even when i took the break i just did not feel like doing anything anymore but even the days where i have like a glimpse of hope and i'm like okay uh let me try and just, i will just like oh check youtube go on youtube when i watch some videos it actually makes me happy it genuinely makes me happy to be on youtube so me quitting youtube will not happen hopefully <laughs> it will not happen let me not say hopefully it will not happen because I really like my community and I like like the space we're building, this is the space we're actually building. So yeah. But anyways, that's just life, right? Life happens. So yeah. Uh I think the last thing I watched want to touch on before I end this video. I don't, I don't want this video to be too long. That's like how I have been struggling with my faith. Yeah. Um oh God. It's hard actually. It's really hard because I don't know maybe there's someone out there who is also struggling with their faith but oh my god i don't want to cry i don't know why i'm feeling really emotional talking about this right now i don't know why but i feel i just i just feel like i just feel very hot like i just feel very hot i'm not the most religious person you ever meet i don't pray five hours in a day i don't pray 20 hours in a day but from my channel you guys know like i always like insert prayers here and there um i'm spiritual i choose to believe like not even i choose to believe i'm actually spiritual i'm more spirituality than religion right so i have a personal relationship with god not because i was raised in a christian home but in my teenage age i found jesus on my own and he's helped me like even in tough times i've held on to him I've, he's helped me like carried me like throughout like different phases of my life but when i went through what i went through i just felt like jesus left me like <laughs> i just felt like he didn't look out for me and he allowed that happen to me so i've just been struggling with my faith i don't know why i i i i, I wanted to say this right normally when i film videos i write out my, my points and I, I wrote it down i was going to talk about it but now it's just seeming like really difficult to actually talk about but i've been struggling with my faith like seriously and i feel hurt i feel i just i just feel hot all along like i'm just feeling like i just feel bad but i'm like i just i don't know i don't know most days it's just like a bunch of feelings but i just feel really really bad i just feel really hot like he left me he allowed me to go through what i went through but it's life it's life the good happens the bad happens like be grateful for the things he gave you and also be grateful for the things he did not give you but it's just been really hard for me right and i just hope like i actually like find my way back to the whole like the lost ship and i find my way back to like the I find my way back. Let me just say I find my way. I don't even know the word to use right now, but I find my way back. But that's something I've just been struggling with. And I don't know if someone out there is also struggling with their faith. If someone feels like Jesus doesn't love them. Right now, I just want to tell you that like, Jesus loves you, <laughs> even though I am not. <laughs> even though I, I feel I feel bad. Like I won't say I feel bad because I still feel bad about it, but I feel like he still loves us. And yeah, I just pray like I get to the point where I'm in a better place and my faith is like back and I try and grow it. So yeah, that's just all I want to say. Oh, that just made me really, really, really emotional. Yeah, so. 
so yeah that's basically what i've been up to i've been living life i've just been doing what i'm doing i've been just forging ahead taking each day as it comes trying to find joy in the little things again and yeah basically so i'll be back on social media very very soon i really miss youtube i miss instagram i miss taking pictures i miss doing videos and i'll be back very soon and hope you guys don't miss me too much so anyway i think this brings us to the end of this video that's just what i've been up to like lately just you know just here and there and yeah so that brings us to the end of this video in case anyways let me mention all my businesses before i click out of this video because 2024 is my money era like I've, it has always been my money era like um it has always been where i need to cash out and make money okay but 2024 the urge is increased because i graduate next year and i need money okay so let me list all my businesses if you're in china and you want to get your makeup done like as you can see the flawless bit i did it myself if you want to get your makeup done if you want to get your hair installed send me a dm i'll leave my wechat in, in the description box if you need to get authentic makeup products send me a dm i have as well if you want makeup classes which i do but it's one-on-one -on -one, i think i have to do a flyer for that one because i don't think a lot of people know like i do classes as well but i can do like i do upgrade classes and i do like beginner classes because there are different types of makeup in case you do not know so I do classes as well, one, but it's one-on-one -on -one for now. It's not like general classes. Send me a DM on WeChat. And no, that one is not even limited to only people living in China. Anywhere in the world, if you're watching this video and you want me to like, you want to brush up your makeup skills and you just want a one-on-one -on -one lesson, I'm open, like I do those classes as well. I also buy things for people who need things from China. In case you want to get something from China, I'm your girl. I also have a perfume oil brand. I sell the best perfume oils in the world and so many people can testify to that. Also, I have an eyelash brand and that's what's on my eyelid. So yeah, I do a lot of things. So these are all my businesses. I'll link all my Instagram handles and my WeChat information under in the description box. So yeah, anyways, anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. Let's just keep in the bad bits we are. I love you guys long time and I'll see you in my next video.